Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Boy, this is shadowy. I'm not going to like this either. Oops. <laughs> Playing with the lights because it seems really shadowy back here now. No. Let me turn this around. Get a little more light over this way. Hello. Welcome. <clears throat> Sorry for my squeaky chair. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't be shy. Say hi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How are you all doing, whoever's there? Hi, Paige. Thank you for coming. I'm kind of tired. How are you? It's been a busy day and a long day here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wish I could sleep past 3 or 3.30. Anyway, in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you know that. Hi, Philomena. Oh, yes. Yeah, I bet you are. I don't know how you're doing it, actually. I really don't. <laughs> got a lot on you right now I actually got to go to lunch with a friend yesterday because she was looking for something from Home Depot and her Home Depot 40 minutes away didn't have it but mine five minutes away from me <laughs> did so she drove down we were both went in Home Depot because I needed yard bags to rake some leaves and stuff up which I didn't get to yet. Anyway, um, and then we went to lunch in a semi-outdoor <laughs> uh, restaurant. They sort of built like an enclosure around the outdoor area. And then there were some tables out outdoors too. But it was a little breezy. So we ate on the indoor outdoor thing. And we wore masks except when we were eating. So it was fine. She's already had her first shot. I get mine on uh, uh, Friday. <laughs> and my second one, the 30th of April. Woohoo! I finally got scheduled. So, yay, I guess. I'm a little nervous, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just glad to get it done. And then, um, and then I'm going to my daughter's for Easter dinner. Yeah, well, we haven't done that for... Let's see. I think we met once last year at a pizza place and we were the only ones eating in the restaurant. They were at that time they were only allowed to do like I don't know 25% capacity or something. Yeah, I signed up actually about 3 weeks ago and I finally just got an email to schedule an appointment and uh and they scheduled the first one and the second one for me. So, yay. Yep, I get to get poked. Some of my other friends are like, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'm like, well, unless you know you have allergic reactions, I would. <laughs> but that's just me. Anyway, that's not what we're here for tonight. So, did you all see the Last Chance Products video for the mini catalog now? That is up on my channel and I kind of got a, a little upset because I actually inquired about this not with Stampin' Up! originally with someone else and they said no that won't come out till closer to June and I said well that's interesting because people are telling me it's out there but I couldn't find it anywhere a lot is going away but a lot is staying it's actually not as bad as um I thought it would be for the mini, but there are some nice sets like the vine one that I'm a little upset about. Uh, and as far as the annual, I've seen it worse as far as stuff going away. Anyway. Oh, good. Yeah. Good filming. Anyway, I actually went on um, online chat on demo support and asked them, is this out there? And are we allowed to be sharing it? Because I've seen people sharing this and I don't know where it is. And there was one little here word highlighted in blue in a very last tiny bullet in a 
kind of a very obscure place. And that's where it was. Because at first I even stayed in the chat with them and I said, let me look, let me look. And I couldn't find it. And then I'm like, ah, oh, never mind. I just found it. But nobody would know that and they didn't announce it. Anyway, I, I am going to quit whining. But I got it now. I think maybe they didn't announce it because it doesn't have any discounts on it yet. And it won't until June. So if anything gets discounted, that'll come out later. But like I said in my other video, you know, a lot of stuff is popular and going on back order and not available already. So I would not wait if there's anything that you really, 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 really want to have because I don't know if it'll be available by June. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. Anyway, that said, it's been a busy day. Um, my mailing selector... No, I did not get one in the mail yet. They mailed them right after the 24th, um, which was last Wednesday. And, of course, from there, bulk mail to Timbuktu over here on the East Coast, you know, <laughs> it'll probably be mid-April by the time mine finally arrives, maybe. And especially if it has to go through Philadelphia Exchange because things were getting lost there or just being held up there for quite a while. Um, there's someone on our team and she didn't get her mini catalog to after the mini catalog went live. I hope that doesn't happen here. So I don't know. I'm hoping, but we have, we have access to the online one page, but, the but the, so yes, I do have access to one, but I'm not printing 180 pages or whatever it is. Um, on my wacky printer that won't print yellow right and i ha i ordered a new yellow ink because i figured out the blue and the pink or whatever and the black seem to be working fine but the yellow is not working right which is messing everything else up and it's half full so i don't understand i cleaned the ink rollers and all that jazz took my printer apart pretty much so I ordered a new just yellow cartridge to put in and I ordered the name brand to make sure hopefully that it works. And, um, but I don't want to use it all up on, on the catalog when I know there's one printed one already coming for me. So anyway, so what I have here. Oh, so today I finished my mailing selector. Um, Here's the thing. Remember I said anybody since December 1 through yesterday that ordered $50 or more or three months of paper pumpkin would get one? Well, a couple people checked no for when you, when uh, on their Stampin' Up's new system, there's a thing where you have to opt in to be able to get marketing materials or whatever. And some of the people did not and I couldn't get answers today in a hurry from them so they were not put on the mailing list because I can't do something against somebody's will if they don't want to be included so I'm gonna have to order some catalogs which I don't like to do because they end up half of them sitting here not used um, but I'll just get one pack or something to tomorrow when I order or whenever I order <laughs> I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. It might be um, for the pre-order. And I'll just have to pay the extra shipping, I guess, to get those out. I'd like to do it through Stampin' Up! because it doesn't cost me as much to ship a catalog. Because for the catalogs, for me to do it, I have to send them in a priority mail envelope, which, of course, is almost $8 nowadays. Because I can't do bulk shipping like Stampin' Up! can. So, anyway. So... I prefer to do it that way, but if people, maybe people don't want them and they just do the online shopping and that's fine. But so my message is if by the end of April, early May, you thought you were going to get a catalog from me and you haven't <laughs> ask me, or you can email me. Don't ask me on the live, but ask, uh, you can email me and, um, I will tell you whether or not I included you and why or why not. So, um, but I did try and go by the rules I say, stated. And if somebody was 
like at $48 instead of $50. I included on my stretched it a little bit. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, there went some of my money that I could have used for for uh, pre-order. But that's okay. I'd rather, I mean, it's actually, it is cheaper for me to do it that way than it is to have me buy the catalog. Yes, an eight pack. Right, exactly. Because I have sent out a few in, out of an eight pack, but I probably have like five sitting here too from the last one. So I just sent out two actually not long ago. Um, now, when I was doing craft fairs, it was okay because I actually could sell the catalog at the craft fair. Uh, eh. oh, hey, Megan, we're just chatting so far. <laughs> no, it can't. You're not allowed to mail catalogs, media mail, Nix. I asked that question at my, I have a really nice postal lady one. Well, all of them in my small uh, auxiliary post office are really nice. And, and that, no, that is not permitted. So. Um, and I can't do bulk mail. So the cheapest, well, the cheapest, the only way really, because they weigh so much is to send them out. Now, I don't know about the little, the mini, because that's not as thick and I probably could sneak it in a regular envelope and get away with it. But the annual is thicker and it weighs a lot. So it's just cheaper to do a flat rate priority than to have it weighed. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. And that's why I like to have Stampin' Up! mail them directly to my customers. Um, but customers, if you want one in the future, make sure that you've opted in to receive marketing materials and things. I don't bombard you with emails. I don't do that. I don't even have an email system to automatically send stuff out to you guys. I use this mechanism and my two Facebook my page and my group to communicate and that's about it and occasional emails and stuff on something specific but um oh well have a have a good evening at church then you might like the second card i don't know you might like the first two anyway i have two cards prepared and one i started and we'll see where it goes from there um also don't forget paper pumpkin which is what this is supposed to be, but this is actually yellow. <laughs> and this is watermelon colors in reality and kiwi or something and strawberry. So, you know, it's much prettier colors when your printer works right. But the kit is supposed to make 12, the next kit, which is available, you have to sign up by um, April 10th. Um, and this is the month to month. Um, it's 12, it'll make 12, fresh fun shaped kit uh, cards with coordinating envelopes and it has like watercolor images two matching sticker sheets a stamp set of course that the whole family can use it's geared towards children and everybody fun for all ages it says so and it's supposed to coordinate with the ice cream corner designer series paper that's in the january to june mini so i'm looking forward to getting mine but and if you're interested there's a link down below every video there's one that says shop with me here. And there's one below that that says, if you'd like paper pumpkin, click here. And that should take you to my paper pumpkin web link. Okay. All right. Don't miss the last chance January to June mini video from earlier today and last week. And I'll post this at the end. Um, I actually linked it at the end of the today's video also. We went over the annual catalog last chance and the sale item. So if you didn't jump over there, jump over there and uh, take a look before things are, things are going. Some people are complaining because some of the car stock's gone already. I'm like, you know what I've been saying for two months? The in colors are going to go away. <laughs> Get them now. Um, okay, that's fine, Megan. This card we did the other week. And it's funny because I, I'm going to use the same stamp set. It is retiring, Springtime Joy. And Easter is Sunday. I don't know how Easter snuck up on me this year. <laughs> it just came real quick. I'm like, what? Woo, I'm not ready for Easter. Of course I'm not. That's I'm Deb, you know. Anyway, um, when I was getting ready to do the card for tonight, I pulled out 
the exact same paper because <laughs> I'm trying to use up flowers for every season. And I thought, ah, oh, well, I don't want to use Magenta Madness because I did that last time. All right. So here's the card we're going to do. We're going to use the lamb this time instead of the rabbit and chicky. And we're going to use the basket. And we're going to use the retiring stitched nested label dies. And the not retiring, um, what are these called? Tasteful label dies? Yes, tasteful label dies. Um, but this, this, and this, they're all out of the spring time joy stamp set so that is what we're going to do and then inside i just have oh i have a sentiment which is actually out of a non-retiring stamp set called a wish for everything it has two easter um things in it, it says may the beauty of easter fill your heart with hope on one of them and the other is sending easter wishes to someone very sweet um and then there's dies that match this which are continuing the, that which are the word wishes dies and there is a happy Easter in there but I did not use that tonight because I spent a lot of my time today going through my wish list and revising it for the pre-order list <laughs> so let me get this out of the way and let's get started all right and the next card will be not this stamp set uh, and the next one will be not either of those stamp sets all right so here is i figured we'd use this paper instead of the tulips and stuff on on these two because i pulled this one out too and it has the same colors in it it'll be just as cute i hope all right so the first thing we're going to use a whisper white thick or a basic white thick card base oh by the way i also I closed out the March postcode already, so start using April's um, right away. I just figured, I, you know, I had to get it done. I did the mailing list. I know the lamb is so cute, and I fussy cut. I fussy cut both of them. Aren't you proud of me? I'm. I fussy cut, and you know what? We're gonna fussy cut again. I was gonna do it ahead of time, but I ran out of time to do it ahead of time. Anyway. <laughs> I digress. So I have these two pieces I can use on something else sometime soon. So hopefully I'll get them used up before this retires. Um, all right. First thing is we're going to cut this to be five by three and three quarter. So let me bring in. Look, I redid my thing and I can fit my trimmer on my desk again. Hi, Jen. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, the lamb and the bunny and the chickie, they're all cute. Five by three and three quarters. So we need it to be three and three quarter this way. So the flowers are facing the right way. And five. So you all ready for Easter? Not ready? Doing nothing? Doing something? I actually think I should have cut that a tad bigger. <laughs> Because I think this is the next size bigger. I'll betcha. Yep. Could have made it bigger, but it's okay. That way it won't stick out on the edges, so, which is probably better. All right. We're going to now run this through an embossing folder that is carrying over the painted texture 3D embossing folder. Oh, look. I have another one of those. Oh, goody. I have three of them. Hmm. And I have a piece of so saffron in here, but it didn't really go because this is bumblebee and it looked better with daffodil delight, which I was originally going to use. I don't think this is the right piece because this looks crooked and I thought I cut a straighter one. Hang on. <laughs> Maybe I cut them all crooked. I don't know. I'm sure I had a better one. But, oh, well. Maybe it's just... No, oh, I think that's crooked. You know what? I'm going to go with it anyway. Let me just check something. Sometimes stuff gets caught in other places. and 
you're gonna have to tell me if this view is okay and if you can hear me okay we're just gonna use it because i can't find if i did another one i don't know what i did with it <sighs> let me look one more time nope can't find it <laughs> we'll do nothing together not doing well yeah well Paige, though you you were busy all day you need a break I was busy all day too, but I was sitting on my back doing spreadsheets and <sighs> it takes me so long to do everything that I swear to take other people five minutes, but I'm just so cautious about everything like the mailing selector because I don't want to get in trouble for sending somebody something I should know. And now I'll probably get in trouble because somebody was expecting something and doesn't get it. But anyway. I can tell the people that are on here so far, except Heather, because she's way up north there. Um, you're all getting it. <laughs> well, Jen gets her own. But, um, and she'll probably get her catalog before me because she's on the other side of the country. And anything that comes this way seems to take forever anyway okay so we're actually going to bump this up onto here and to do that i'm actually going to put last time i put tape all around and i put it a little too close to the edge here not tape uh sticky stuff and i use these foam adhesive sheets and i just cut them Yeah, Heather's making really cute kitty butts. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good, does it? <laughs> but they're so cute. They are so cute. All right, now we have to, we're going to put it on here this time. I'm going to just cut this with scissors into strips. But I have to be careful and get it close to this edge because I don't want it to stick out in here you know, close to the edge okay <laughs> but they're so cute my kitty is doing much better although she's still a little bit wonky but she has been playing off and on occasionally but then she gets kind of worn out and she goes and lays on my bed and she never used to do that very often so um it kind of was a little frightening at first because it's like, where's Kelly? Where's Kelly? I don't know where she is. I think I had to make this thinner at the top and bottom, which I should have done before I took that sheet off. So anyway, she we're occasionally giving her the pain medicine. We should be giving her more often, but the the day she came, the day we had her X-rays done, they gave her a shot of pain medicine. Oh my gosh, she was so weird that day. It was it was kind of scary. I was afraid for her. All right, I'm going to put at the top, I'm going to put a little more in these corners and I'm actually going to put that over on here because I don't want to do it at the bottom though because the little lamb has to fit in there. So anyway, I think she'll be okay. We think, I think she probably just, slammed into a piece of furniture when she was oops when she was playing or possibly slid down the last step or two by accident i don't know going down from up here um let me see. oops oh do you see what i just did oh my word oh no that's right <sighs> see now i'm going wonky <laughs> i'm as wonky as Kelly is or more all right, I think that's okay. I'm going to put a piece in these corners here. Um, and then I think that'll do it. <laughs> so thank you for asking. And thank you guys for all the... Well, I was so worried last week because she really was acting. So I never had a... Well, I had one cat act like that and... Uh, he ended up having neurological issues, and I was so afraid. 
it was that because if it was that we probably wouldn't have her back with us all right i think that'll be all right and i'll probably sneak something in here actually um i might be able to put a little piece right there in the middle but i have to be i put that there well that's oh no 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 I do like that. No, no, no. <laughs> Never mind. We'll wait until we get this on. All right. So now, before we put that all down and together, let's color. Color. So how I, did I do the little lamb? I brought in Seaside Spray. <laughs> well, I've been near them. I don't know. No. I think I'm just getting old <laughs> and pretty wonky. We're going to use Dark um, Manga Melody. We're going to use Poppy Parade. And I think I use Light and Dark on that. And we're going to use Magenta Madness. And we're going to use Just Jade. And we're going to use cinnamon cider for the basket, too. And I might bring in another color, too, for the basket. So we have a ton of colors here. But let's start with Seaside Spray. And I think I only used the light on this. And just kind of went around the little lamb. I actually did color in all around up here in light Seaside Spray. Just to give it a little definition. I am not an expert colorist by any stretch of the imagination. So, if you ever see something you don't think is right, let me know. <laughs> and I may or may not fix it. <laughs> yes, the blends storage are is in the new catalog. Well, hmm. The storage is in the new catalog. I'm, I can't. I didn't really look at it closely enough to specifically say yes. The blends is, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'll double check for your page and let you know if that's wrong. <laughs> but I know there is the white, the plastic storage. So I kind of just assumed all of them were in there. Has anybody said anything otherwise? We're not actually supposed to say what's in or not, but, you know, that was a specific question. <laughs> and you obviously know some things that are going to transfer. The thing about pre-orders is I make my list up before we get the pre-order list. And I always have to change it because they don't make everything available to us to order, you know. And that's fine. Um, it actually, I couldn't have afforded to get everything I wanted to get this time anyway. And I still, even with narrowing it down, um, probably have to take one or two things off. Um it adds up i i always try to get all the new in colors and the new paper that's like my number one thing and i really love three of the new colors <laughs> it's okay you're fine i think that's an that's an okay question i'm gonna color her his whoever's what are they? Hooves. Uh, hooves. I guess they're hooves on lambs, right? Sort of like ho horse hooves, only lamb hooves? I don't know. I forget. I'm using a dark smoky, smoky slate for that. And now for the flowers and stuff. All right. So what I did is I used dark magenta madness. Originally on all of them, but I'm going to do it for just this one and this one this time. And then I'm going to use Dark Mango Melody for the other two. 
cute little lamb. And while I have Mango Melody, I'm going to go ahead and do this Easter egg over here. Does anybody die Easter eggs? I miss doing stuff like that. But I don't know when I'd have time actually anymore. All right, let's do... Oh, we'll keep that yellow out. Actually, we'll do two of these flowers. This stamp set is easy coloring. Not a lot of shading has to be done or anything. So I like that. <laughs> I like having to do that. Not lots of shading. This is one of my favorite um, Stampin' Blends. Let me just say, if you want Melon Mambo or Mango Melody Stamping Blends, Get them now. <laughs> Get them now. Um, excuse me. Oh my goodness. All right. And then we're going to use mango. Not mango. Oops. Wrong end. <sighs> Magenta Madness over here. So yesterday was beautiful out. My son fixed my tail, my um, driver's side turn signal wasn't working. And I knew it was either a bulb or a fuse. And he managed to figure out how to fix it. So yay him. Saved me from taking it to like AAA or a garage or something to have it done. And I had one extra bulb and, and a few extra fuses. But they weren't all the right sizes or wattage or whatever you call it. So it was the bulb and it works. <laughs> so proud of him for figuring that out. Yay. All right. Now these are just jade and I'm just going to do the dark stripe down the middle of these leaves with the dark. And then we're going to color them in in the light just jade. And then we'll do the basket. And then I have to fussy cut. Ugh. Oops, wrong end again. You're addicted to crocheting kitty bums. <laughs> well, at least you can crochet. I am so far behind in my jewelry and even in my card making. I just... Between the nice weather and Cali and kind of just being tired after all that stuff. I kind of lost my mojo too, but I'm like two months behind in jewelry now. Not for my collabs, but for the kits that keep coming in and, yeah, that I haven't done anything with yet. And I have to tell you, well, that's a different that's a different channel, but Softflex is really nice. They called me and said, we noticed you put up a video on this. We're going to add it to that blog about you, right? I'm like, okay. <laughs> But I haven't made anything with it yet. That's okay. We'll add that when you do. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So Easter egg. So we need the magenta madness again. And I'm using the dark because I like Easter eggs to be nice and bright. I always used to favor the, um, can you guess what color I favored in Easter eggs? Can you, can you, can you? I don't have any in this basket of the color that I favor. <laughs> I'll tell you. They were... I'm going to use Purple Posy Dark, actually, in the back here. Um, they were turquoise ones. Robin's Egg. I like them to look like Robin's Egg Blue or turquoise. My favorite color... And the other one I did actually in Bermuda Bay dark. Another pretty color. That one is staying. Thank goodness. I like um, Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay. I like all of those. They're like the sort of blue greens. And then we have... Pacific Point, which I forget about sometimes, but it's it's also a nice bright blue. All right, let's do the cinnamon cider, and we're going to use the dark first. 
And this is a perfect color for baskets, I feel like. I'm just going to do this whole braided part on the basket here in dark first. This is probably like watching paint dry. Good thing you have that crocheting to do, Heather. <laughs> Told you I'd put you to sleep tonight. <sighs> And then what I did is I did all these um, parts going down, like the weaving this way in the dark. The basket's pretty easy to cut out if you don't cut this part out. <laughs> and I'm not going to. I'm actually just going to color that in with like light pool party you can if you want to you can use into like an exacto knife and put it on a self-healing mat or something and then the handle i didn't color in all in dark although i probably should have because handles get worn and stuff and then there's also these little like stripe areas you know where the bands cross it's like an indent in the weaving and i just did that in dark too covering up my thing oh well yeah but <laughs> but that's what puts everybody to sleep that and my mon monotone voice i have oh well i can't help it that's what i was given so I'll try and talk loud once in a while to wake y'all up. <laughs> uh, eight people watching. Wow. My audience has gone down. I will say that. Oh, well. I guess because I haven't been posting as often as I used to with lives and not doing as giveaways like I was. But, oh well. It is what it is. Okay. I'm just going to go over the whole thing a little bit with the light. A little more. This is a really pretty color. I need to use it more. I like earthy colors and stuff. Must be the Capricorn in me. All right, let me put these away now. Because if I don't, I won't have room to do any of the other stuff. <laughs> Viewers to your videos have gone. Yeah, actually, on most of my, even like my collab videos, it's, the viewership going down. I don't know whether people are going back to work or something that were out of work before or, you know, they're just experiencing wacky weather or what's because we're having kind of, oh, it was so nice. I told you yesterday, but today it's raining and I don't know. They changed it, I think, but we did have a snow flurry on our forecast for tomorrow, but now it's rain, but it's only going to go up to like 40 tomorrow. And yesterday was like, 67 or something i don't know it's crazy and i don't think it is a youtube thing i think it's something else i mean subscribers going down is a youtube thing i don't think views going down is unless well i don't know my scopes sub, the subscribers are at three 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 well, I don't know. They keep fluctuating it. Like it went up to 3335 and now it's back down to 3333. And so it's kind of been sitting at 3333. Is that a bad number in any way? I know if it was sixes, it would be, but, <laughs> but it's kind of just sitting at that number for most of this week anyway. I forgot to color that part in there with um, pool party. Pool party light is my 
background sky or balmy blue light would be okay too or seaside spray until it goes away but since i used that on our little lamb but i didn't do a very good job on I, I came down too far but i have a solution for that which i'll show you in a minute and i could also put wing castella or something on the actual easter eggs you know what, I'm going to cut that off like that because that piece is getting in my way. And with the rain comes my hands hurting more than they usually do. My joints. Rain and the cold, the dampness. So maybe I will dig into Callie's medicine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she, the first time when I took her to the emergency vet, he gave me... Um, pills and i said oh i don't know if we'll be able to give them to her we've had trouble in the past we've even tried sneaking it in into food she's too smart for that she knows and sure enough we couldn't get them in her so yeah exactly no more snow you got your winter tires off oh no <laughs> oh that's good thank you and you know, you can watch, hi Cindy, you can watch the whole video and if it's too long, you know you can speed it up, right? On the videos on and on the replays for these. You go into your settings and you can put it on like warp speed or something. <laughs> and that's still, I, I don't know if it gives us credit for you watching the whole thing. It probably shortens the time, but at least you see in... You know, when I look at my analytics, most of the time people watch about 30% of the video content in each video on average, on average. And um, now if I was just stamping this cutie pie to sit uh, out in the open, in fact, I'm just going to cut that off, um, but I, I would leave that piece on. But we're going to tuck this little cutie inside the stitch nested label frame so that we popped up and we're going to put it up on dement her up him it up on dimensionals too i guess i colored it light blue instead of light pink so it must be a him but it has flowers in its fur it's wool it's a woolen coat what do you call sheep stuff do you call it fur not really fur it's a woolly woolly coat which by the way i can't um i can't wear wool right next to my skin it makes me itch so they're really cute and i can touch them at a zoo or something for like two seconds but i can't wear wool except as an outer coat and thank goodness i can for that because they were nice and warm. I don't know. Do they even make wool coats anymore? Because I know a lot of it's all poly everything. Oh, yeah, that's true, Paige. Fleece? Hmm. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> uh, maybe. So if I go to the petting zoo and I want to pet a sheep or a lamb, I don't know. I guess so. I would just say, can I pet it? <laughs> Instead of, can I pet its fur or whatever? I know it's not fur. It's coat. Can I shave it and take its woolly coat? No. <laughs> There's actually a... Um, sheep farm not too far from me and they used to give tours but i never got to go there before the situation with the world happened <sighs> my friend yesterday started talking about maybe this whole thing was a hoax and i'm like um i don't think so if it was it was a pretty big one impacting just about every country 
And I don't know how she could say that because then she said, yeah, and one of her good friends is currently in the ICU still with it. I'm like, see? Anyway. I don't know. I don't really, I shouldn't have brought that up. I don't want to get into that, but yeah. Kind of become a recluse. I'm not sure that's really the best for me. I don't know. I'm going to cut that off too. All right. Huh, phew. I should get a badge. Deb survived the fussy cutting. These pieces I can use. This piece I can't. And uh, let me get the light pool party. And I'm just going to do this background in here. That looks darker than the light. <laughs> Hope I picked the right one. I think so. It'll probably lighten up. I have coloring on both cards tonight that I have pre-made. Wow. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, I know. I hope. Well, somebody said that the, the vaccine should probably work against the variant. Oh, I was going to show you how to do this. I don't like how far down I came. I'm going to take the color lifter and just go up a little bit maybe in a circular motion to make it look a little wooly 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 and it'll take a minute for it to clear we'll do that down here too <laughs> not working so far but it will I'm do a little more. All right, we'll let that go. Yeah, maybe here too. We just, just don't like that sharp edge that I put on there. I wanted to blend in a little more, so I'm just using the color lifter along there. And I should wipe that off on something. There we go. <laughs> well, it's going away. But um, it should still be available. It's in the mini catalog. Unless, I don't know, is it all gone already? I don't, I don't know. I looked this morning, but stuff changes. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and put the this on. I think. Yes, let's do it. Let's just do it. Do it to it. And these are the... Um, Adhesive strips, which I stuck to me. <laughs> uh, so how does this um, view look? Is it okay? Or are you like slanty? Or I don't know if I can do any better than this. Because like I said, it's I'm not working around a pole now. Which is nice for me. But if it's not good for you guys, I'll have to. Figure something else out. Boy, that is crooked. Of course, I might have put it on crooked too. All right. Now, we're going to just put this little cutie in here. And probably move it over a little bit from where I did before. I'm going to bump that up on dimensionals. And then I'm going to put this on the outside over here. And just put a dimensional right up here. And I have to cut. Now let me get the other sheet. Oh, that's a that's a that's not a sheet of dimensionals. <laughs> Sorry for reaching. The view is good. Yay! Awesome. Is the sound okay? Is it blurry? Because it looks blurry to me. But I think my eyes are getting bad. I really do. All right. Let's bump. Let's bump our sweetie pie up. Our little lamb. Anybody remember lamb chop? <laughs> oh boy, the good old days. The puppet. 
so cute. I'm gonna just put these all over. Thank you, Philomena. You remember lamb chop? Oh, <laughs> I thought lamb chop was cute. I think all the things like that are cute, but of course I was little too then. I'm going to use a mini on here too, right there. And maybe another one, right? I'm putting too many on here. Oh well. That's how it goes. Did I get them all? I did because it's all shiny. And we're just going to pull that up a little bit so I can get our little our little lamb chop in there. I wanted it down a little further, but that's where it's going to go. And let me make sure this will fit. It'll fit right there so that I have to take some glue. Your youngest son was into lamb chop. Aww. <laughs> My son was into Thomas the Tank Engine and Power Rangers. I told you before, my, my, our um, first, our last cat, Kimmy, Princess Kimmy Fluffy Cat, she was named after the Pink Power Ranger. But he doesn't remember doing that, but I do. Because her name was Kimberly. And so he wanted to name the cat Kimberly. And I said, well, how about Kimmy? Princess Kimmy. And then she was very fluffy. So she just got the name Princess Kimmy Fluffy Cat. And this is the um, Misty Moonlight Silver Baker's Twine as part of the Flowers for Every Season Ribbon Combo Pack. I can't remember if this one is staying. <laughs> Anybody remember? The Flowers for Every Season Ribbon Combo Pack. I think it is because I seem to remember the, um, the Jade... Just Jade Gingham is staying, and that's part of the same pack. And then this goes right down here by Lamb Chop's feet. Originally, I thought, well, I could put it on the basket, but I have a little gap here, just like I did on the last one. So let's snip that and put it on there with a glue dot. Glue dots. Oh, yeah. What? No Sesame Street? <laughs> How many sons do you have, Cindy? Yeah, Lamb Chop. And what were some of the other ones? Captain Kangaroo. Mr. Green Jeans. Um, I don't know. Oh, Prince. Not Prince. Chief Halftown and Sally Star, they actually were local. There used to be a place around here called um, the Downingtown Farmer's Market. It's not right here, but it's like half an hour, 20 minutes away from me. Anyway, it used to be a real farmer's market, but um, but they used to have guests come. And, and um, Sally Star came there before and... Uh, Okay, we have to do more stamping. <laughs> I am not with it. All right. Um, Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings. I need a scrap of white. Let me find a scrap. This is one I messed up before, so we'll use it right here. Mr. Dress Up. The Friendly Giant. Oh, Romper Room. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. <laughs> Romper Room. Wow, my brother used to watch stuff like um, Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone was a man. Whatever. And Oh, we used to watch Lassie all the time, too. Wow, four sons. Wow. Bless you. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> uh, why does that look so dark? What did I pull out? 
That is the wrong color. Eee. I pulled out Melon Mambo, everyone, and Melon Mambo is not what I want to use. I want to use another piece of white somewhere. I have stuff sitting on my chamois, so I need to move that. All right. I can't believe I did that. You know what happened? I am reorganizing, so I shifted over my in colors to make room for the new in colors. And Magenta Madness is almost right above Melon Mambo now. <laughs> you raised a step sin. Wow. Gumby. Oh, I remember Gumby. How fun. Isn't it fun to go down memory lane? And how have things changed, right? Oh, my word. We, uh... All right. This is Magenta Madness. I hate to do this, guys, but I'm not paying for expedited shipping on my pre-order when I pre-order. So you'll probably be seeing stuff from all the people that can do that. But I just, I don't have the funds to pay an extra $40 or whatever to do the shipping. All right. Now this I'm going to die cut out of Tasteful Labels dies. And I used, uh, I can't get my hand in there. <laughs> It is expensive. Well, I did it once or twice when I really wanted to get started using stuff. But you know what? I have a lot of stuff that I haven't used that is either going away or carrying over some of it I haven't used. So I would just like to get it when it gets here and um, show you then. But you'll you'll see it all, I'm sure, before I ever get around to showing it to you. And I'm not getting everything. Some people might be getting everything in the pre-order, I mean. I'm getting a lot, but I'm not getting everything available to us. Because some of the things that are in the catalog, I want more than what's in the pre-order. <laughs> what did Paige say? Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can, yeah, I can definitely... I mean, I get excited and I want it now, but then I don't have time to use it all right now anyway. So I'll just keep using it. Plus, it's, it's kind of hard because the timing of this is kind of hard because the uh, annual, you know, goes away at the end of April. And then, and then uh, two months later, the mini goes away. So we're going to be trying to get excited about the the new annual, but still working with the mini <laughs> and I need to be using the, the current annual stuff right now and the current mini. And I'm like so far behind and everything. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Sorry that <laughs> the timing is just weird. You know, you're getting the new colors first. Yes. That is priority for me when the new annual comes out is get the in colors and I get the ink pads and I, I get it all. And this time, there is a blend pack for every new color, <laughs> which is, wow, I don't know that we've had that. All right, um, this is die cut, I just put that away, die cut out of the same thing, but in Daffodil Delight. Why did I do that? You didn't yell at me and say, Deb, don't put that away. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do too. Well, you get to use them for two years, but yeah, you basically have to figure. And I also always, well, I was going to wait and get the ink refills later, but since they took some of the other stuff away, I'm going to get the ink refills right away. And that way, especially nowadays because of this uh, situation worldwide, you know, um, there was a time and I'm noticing some of them are out now where the plastic bottles for the ink refills they were using the manufacturer was making um, face shields um, 
so we were behind in getting our ink refills and i don't know if it's happening again but the ink refills seem to be uh low inventory on many of them so i'm gonna get what i can right away <laughs> And I was going to wait on the stamp and write markers that go with it, the pack of five, but I'm getting them too. So there you go for part of my pre-order. <laughs> the colors and uh, um, everything, the, everything, the corner and the cardstock, of course. Now they do have like a multi-pack cardstock, but I just, I used to do that where you get two sheets of each color but i just get one pack of each color now and that'll last me probably through the first year or or pretty close to that okay so what i'm going to do is just glue this like this and then we're going to pop that up on dimensionals too yeah it is hard to keep up you know what I don't mind the inks and stuff so much. What is hard for me to keep up with is the designer paper. <laughs> so, because I feel like I, I did better this time. I didn't order every single one. And um, as a result, some of mine are low. And you're going to be seeing me use a lot of annual catalog designer series paper in the next couple of weeks because I need to use it up. Uh, like flowers for every season which is really pretty. Um, but the next card will use a different one, which I also have to use up. All right, let's put this onto here. Oh, I just closed the glue. I've been doing better about putting my lid on my glue bottle. However, it drives me a little nuts sometimes, but I'm doing it because I'm maybe it'll last longer. I don't know. I think that's kind of cute how that little lamb is just peeking out from the field of flowers right peeking out from the field of flowers and you could make it a shaker card if you want to but i didn't feel like doing another shaker card tonight let's just cut some of this off now this i have to be careful because oops because the majority of it is going to be glued up here and i might have to tuck a couple um dimensionals up there too but I need, a, I need some dimensionals. Um, and actually, I need this stuff because dimensionals aren't quite as thick as this. Let me cut a little square off of this. <laughs> Which I just, it just flew onto the floor. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Let's see if we can go like that and see if it'll work. I think right there will, will work. So let me pop that on there right down here. That's good. Envelope liners. Yes. I've been watching Linda do that. And I always forget. And I have that ornamental envelope from the holiday catalog. I have that so I could do that. Um. But I just always, I must put that down there without taking the paper off. I just always forget. But I do need to, you know why? Because I'm not usually making my envelopes right at the same time, which is bad. I should do that. Maybe I'd get my cards actually mailed out if I did that. I asked my son to help me organize my cards. Um, all right, we're going to put some embellishments on the outside. And then we have to do something with the inside. I'm kind of moving slow tonight, huh? What do I do with that piece? Oh, let me pick that up before it gets on Cali or something. Or the bottom of my foot. <laughs> now, I used um, the, the um, Misty Moonlight up here and a pink down here. Does that look all right or is it wacky? Should I use just all like yellow ones instead? Hmm, maybe. I'm not sure I like that. Maybe we'll use all yellow or all... I don't want to use pink on the pink. Wait, what? Yeah. So, yeah. Alrighty. I put a new thing in my 
take your pick tool, but I don't know if I have it in right because the putty's not really coming out much. Very stiff. There we go. Now I just, I guess I, mmm, mmm, wrong color. <laughs> Let's use the bumblebee ones, even though I'm using daffodil delight here. Yeah, I like that better, I think. And we'll make all three colors the same. And, and, mm, eh. <laughs> I'll put one down here this time. I don't know. That's like too much in a row. We'll put one down here. There we go. All right. These are retiring, by the way. I even reorganized all my gems. And let me show you what I did. <sighs> this little one is a regular stamp case. And it says retiring or retired. Most of them are retiring. The gems, the resin hearts are going away. These things, which I always forget to use. The stars. Because our copper foiling and brass foiling has gone away too, I think. In the annual, we went over that already. And the gold dots and these wonderful gems. I think that's almost a new pack of those. And then I have the wood mount cases, which are retired. And I labeled them with pearls and one for rhinestones and one for other gems, which is basically anything other than rhinestones and pearls. And that works for me because I can just grab a case and I know what I'm kind of going for. Um, okay, so now inside, thank you, Paige. This is what we're doing. This is where we're stamping. Sending Easter wishes to someone very sweet. Like a little lamb chop. I need a piece of Whisper White. Here we go. Except that's too big. Because I had to cut it down a little bit to five and five by um, blah, 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 three and three quarter. Get back up there. Three and three quarter. Five, five. And I was trying to be really good and. I, I took all my retiring stamps and I was going to put them on the shelf below my active ones. But that's where my cardstock is now. So, do I have an extra strip of paper for this one? Eh, hang on. Um, so, I'm trying to find the designer paper. Sorry, here it is. And see if I have a strip of what paper is it? It's not the tulips, it's the little flowers. Yeah. Maybe we'll leave that off this time. Okay. We just have to stamp in magenta madness. Um and I was gonna I took all my sticker collection out of the drawer they were in, which is right to my left. So I thought that would be ideal if I could reach down in that drawer, open it, and get my cardstock out. Yeah, but I'd have to take it all out of my folder things, my clear folders that I have my cardstock in. Because that won't fit in the drawers in the Pentaflex folders that I have in there. So I decided not to do that. So now all my retired stamps are in that drawer just laying in there. <laughs> or retiring. You're on a cat kick. You got cat silk screen to paint. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Oh, I wish I lived closer. <laughs> you know what? I overcompensated a little bit, but we're going with it. It's going to do. And that came out of the, I'm kind of chatty now, aren't I? Um, a Wish for Everything, which is staying. That one is staying. All right. 
and we're just going to glue that down. We're not going to bother with a um, strip of paper. If I find one later, I'll stick it in there. <sighs> Finally, she gets the card done. <laughs> And now I did not emboss this piece of Misty Moonlight, which is five and a quarter by four, because I just didn't feel like you want to do that in the um, inside of a card because it makes it too bumpy to write on. So I typically only do that on the exteriors of cards, the fronts. I need to figure out some fun folds for you guys sometime so you don't get bored with watching me. Yeah, cute card, right? I think it's adorable. Wonder if my two grand girls would mind getting the same card. <laughs> no. Uh, no, that's not for them. All right. Next one's a little more on the serious side, if you will. Oh, here's a piece of Whisper White I could have used. Oh. Anyway, it's using the His Love. Let me get these things out of the way. And fun. Oh. Now look, there's a strip of extra paper. Mm, not quite the same. Hang on, I have to put that away. Oh, I can't get the folder open. Hang on. That's because I have it backwards. All right. Okay. And this goes in the drawer. And I marked some of my stuff as retiring. Okay. Uh, we're going to use his love. If I can find it. Here it is. His love. Retiring. Stitch nested label dies. Retiring. <laughs> Very sad, very sad. This is paper from the Fine Art uh, Suite. What's it called? Fine Art Floral. The funny thing is, most of the time, I tend to be using not the floral. <laughs> and I was going to use this page, but it was too much um, terracotta tile. So I'm using this sheet which is they don't say bermuda bay they say pool party is in here but i think there's some bermuda bay um because i don't really like this one but i like this one and it's a nice neutral right so hopefully i cut a piece already <laughs> i don't know i did cut this with um i'll show you which one it is maybe and these are retiring. If you're interested in them, they're number 149638 Stitch Nested Label Dies. They originally came bundled with the Free as a Bird. And Free as a Bird is continuing. This, okay. So the background is the largest one. And the stamp with the cross is going to be the second largest one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I am probably going to send that one to my brother. I'm whispering because I think once in a while he watches me. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, he can't, I don't, he doesn't comment. All right, this is my scrap to do the stamping on. All right, let me set this over somewhere. I don't know where. All right, so let's set that aside, set that aside. And I have the stamp out. Yes, I do. Right here. Let me get some stuff out of the way. Can I take a sip of my tea quick? Do you think I should have used Daffodil Delight ribbon here instead of this gold? I'm thinking maybe I should have, even though that's a uh, dark melon mambo again. No. Dark Mango Melody. <laughs> All right. We're going to just stamp it in um, Memento Tuxedo Black. I will probably be hanging on to this stamp set because I don't have any other cross or 
religious Easter. This is what it looks like in case you're interested. Oops. It's on page 50 in the mini. And um, on the inside, we're going to put his love never fails and the hands down in the corner. Um, did I show you that? That's what I did on the inside. So that's what I'm going to use for that. And <laughs> put that back there. All right. And I stamped that up and then I let it sit. That's not a good thing. At least this coloring's not too bad. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a way to just really make it pop. And I don't know. The colors were the only thing I could come up with. All right. So I need light and dark Bermuda Bay. Uh, I think I just used dark pool party. And dark mango melody, which is what I'm going to use first. Now, you could also, I, another thought I had is to heat emboss this in either gold or silver and then color it in. I think that would be gorgeous also. But one thing I did with my little bit of rearranging is I moved my embossing powders that were in containers that take up too much space on my desk off my desk and I don't now they're not really convenient <laughs> and I did that because I had a um, power strip double power strip but it was on my floor by my feet and um, so all the cords were hanging right in front of my legs which would get tangled up every now and then and I didn't really care for that so, and plus, I am getting a new light, a ring light, one. I'm getting one. I had, originally I was going to order two, and then I started reading some of the reviews, and they're like, yeah, the stands are on, on the desktop are pretty weak. So, I'm just getting one larger one that can sit on the floor, like right to my left, or on my desktop somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Because my laptop is to the left also when I'm doing these lives. Anywho, um, I needed a lot of them now plug in through USB, but they don't recommend plugging them into like your um, laptop or something, which I agree with because it draws too much power. So, all right, now we're going to do the pool party. Um, and we're going to do that up here on these swirly thingies. Um, so anyway, long story short, the double power strip is sitting on top of my wooden box thing that holds my Stampin' Blends. <laughs> sort of in front of me to the right. And then the cords, I have to, I have to raise up above everything. <laughs> so my webcam cord is hanging in the air and hanging over the top of my laptop because that actually plugs into my laptop and then the laptop cord is wrapped around behind my ink pads <laughs> to get to the it's just hysterical i'm probably the only person with these wacky setups like this but at least i'm not reaching around my camera stand now which was a problem because I was constantly bumping it and couldn't see around it and stuff like that. I don't think this will be ideal for when I do any jewelry videos, but it's going to have to do. Oh, well, that's on my other channel anyway. You guys don't have to worry about that. So what all is going on in your worlds? What are you doing for Easter? What are you having? I told my daughter... I want to come over, you know, I want to get together. And then we had to decide which, whose house, because we both said we'd have to do some mad cleaning before anybody came in either of our houses. But to her, that probably means running the vacuum cleaner and dusting. And to me, it means straighten up three different rooms and then run the vacuum cleaner, dot, dust, mop, get the cobwebs down, you know, all that kind of stuff. 
and block off the upstairs so nobody can come up here and see this mess. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm going to her house basically for um, dinner, but I had to tell her we had we end up having ham on the bone, you know, big ham butt kind of thing for um, St. Patrick's Day. And so I said, please, let's not do ham for Easter because <laughs> can we just do like something normal like chicken or, you know, so that's what we're having, chicken. Perfectly okay with me and probably healthier too. I didn't color that little dot in with this the last time, but I'm doing it now. So there. Okay. And then kind of had to be careful because I did go out of the lines a little bit when I was doing this on the last one. I'm just going around in the borders um, with dark Bermuda Bay. And then I'm going to go around the outer border with dark Bermuda Bay also. And then I thought I should have done the inner part with dark Bermuda Bay and this outer part with light Bermuda Bay. Because that would make it look deeper. Which probably would have been a good idea to redo it that way on this one. But I forgot about it till just now. <laughs> No plans. Mm. That's the only plan I have is just to go over there for dinner and I'll probably take a little. I ought to take a whole tote bag full of stickers. <laughs> and then my daughter would kill me if I did that. Figuratively speaking. But I literally have uh, a huge Stampin' Up! tote that I got last year the year before um filled with stickers i mean brim filled to the brim so they're no longer organized by category like i had them in my file folders but it's okay because i'll never use that many stickers in my lifetime i don't know what i was thinking buying all those stickers so even the stickier side of crafting collaboration won't help me use up all those stickers i think does anybody want a sticker d stash <laughs> uh, and what's really sad is when i was going i was or you know pulling stuff out i'm like oh that would have been cute for easter pocket letters or this would have been cute for whatever you know yeah didn't even know i had some of the stuff So bad. That's one thing I'm thankful for that Stampin' Up! doesn't have a whole lot of stickers except in some of the kits once in a while. Oh, speaking of kits, I'm just going to let you all know kits are not going to be in the new catalog. They will be available, but they're going to be on the website only. And that's about as much as I can tell you right now. I don't know how that's all going to work. And from what I could tell, in both catalogs, all the kits are retiring that are in the current ones. And um, if you didn't watch my other video from today, the photopolymer stamp sets that are not reversible, um, most of those are going to have different numbers, but they'll be the exact same stamp. They just are printing them. They're extending the paper in the stamp case to go all the way around the back, like the reversibles do now. And the stamp images will be on the paper in the, they'll like wrap around the back. They'll be on the inside back of your case. So you'll put your stamps on acetate sheets still, but you'll have to see where they go by looking at the stamp case as opposed to printing on acetate sheets. And it's it's just, it's a cost-saving thing, you know. 
and it takes longer to get the stamps um, because they have to wait for the acetate to be printed specially. So I'm okay with that actually. I think it works all right with the way that if you have jar of flowers, look at that and that's what I'm talking about how they're going to do them. And there's another reversible one I have. I can't remember what it is right now. But, um, but that's what they're going to do. So to do that, they have to, whenever they repackage something, they have to change the numbering. I just need to do a few little touch-ups, guys, and then we'll get this cut out and, and uh, get the card put together. It's a pretty easy card once you get this done. And this was easy, too. I think this is a beautiful cross. I wouldn't mind having a pendant cross like that, right? Maybe a little smaller, maybe. All right. Put my markers away. That was Light and Dark Bermuda Bay. Dark Mango Melody, which is my favorite, y'all. Anyway, and Dark Pool Party. And Memento Tuxedo Black. And now we're going to die cut that with this one and make sure, yes. Um, maybe I'm looking for my purple tape. I must have thrown it out. Okay. I'm on a cat kick too, Heather. <laughs> Just a real one instead. Oh my goodness. I wish I knew how to crochet. Now, originally, see, originally my plan was put this up towards the top and then I'll have a sentiment strip go across the bottom. But the sentiment I picked out was not a strip sentiment. And I don't even know what I did with it. Uh, oh, there it is. It's His Love Never Fails. Now, it would have worked maybe if I did your blessing in my life and then you could have a strip go across here if you cut this out, you know, so that the cross is way up at the top, but I didn't do that. And no, we're not going to change it now. So, so now we're going to put it here. I just want to make sure it's centered and that both points are pointing to the points. The points are pointing to the points. All right. Let me unbury my machine. And turn around and cut this. I'll be back. I'm turning into Arnold again. That's not good. <laughs> Just I don't think this, I don't know if this would fit through the mini machine or not. It might, if except the paper's cut too wide. I'm pulling that carefully. Now I'll save this because, well, it's cut crooked as I'll get out. But if I had cut that straight, <laughs> I could have saved it because it's stitched around the outside. Oh well. Where's my thingy? Put my dies away so I don't lose them. My retiring dies. I have realized I don't like it when basic things go away. <laughs> I learned a crochet in one day book. And once you learn, you're yeah, I tried learning crochet when I was young and I gave up. I think I could do it now without a left-handed instructor um, trying to teach me, but nothing against left-handed people. Most of my friends are left-handed, but um, it's just really hard to learn when you're right-handed from a left-handed person and vice versa. I think I had that upside down. I did. Now you could pop this up and make it even more dimensional, but I think popping the bottom one up is probably good enough. Oof, 
Uh, uh, oh, don't do that to me. Does that look straight? Yes. All right. I do think I want to try the Roost. Now, is it Roost? You know, for the longest time, I thought this was um, discontinued, this Daffodil Delight from last year, uh, Roost Ribbon. Now it's retiring, so it must have carried over, and I didn't even... I had it in my little bag of retired ribbon. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's finish putting this outside together. Nice the way it is. Okay. I normally would go to church on Easter and Palm Sunday too, but my um, eight-year-old granddaughter told her mom and dad that she wants to go to church on Sunday. So they're going to church Sunday, but uh, I'm not going to go there until later in the afternoon when they're home. And the church I would go to, I don't think is having in-person services yet. So I don't go often. No, we're not supposed to talk religion, right? <laughs> but, oh well. I should. And that's probably enough. I go a little overboard sometimes on these things. Let me close this up again, get it out of the way, reaching across. Waking up at 3.30 in the morning and staying up is not a good thing, because I really start to feed. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. So I'm seven for seven. Seven for watching and seven thumbs up. Yay, thank you. Kind of surprised because I'm being really goofy tonight. Is that on straight? I think so. Isn't that pretty? I love that cross. I love it. I'm going to try. I had this little scrap of Daffodil Delight. I think it's too small. Yeah. All right. I can't tie a bow with that piece. It's too small. Let's get a bigger piece. I think I might like this better. Let me see. I think it matches the color in the cross better. Maybe. Don't turn on me like that. Behave, Ribbon, behave. All right. Which one, the gold or the Daffodil Delight? Can you see them? Does it look blurry? Hi, I'm here. My name is Deb. <laughs> uh, gold Daffodil Delight that I have to retie. This one, my right, which is looking left on my screen. That's weird. One or two. Yep, this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll go with that. We'll be different. This one looks like it's coming apart anyway or something. All right. Let me retie it because it's looking kind of funky. But we'll use the Daffodil Delight. We use two different retiring ribbons. <laughs> What am I doing wrong? There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. All right. Let's 
way too long. Probably way too big a bow, yeah. Yay. Heather and Nick's boy, there is a lag. Heather and Nick's both said two, so I hope that was two. I think it was two. <laughs> All right. Then we'll stamp the inside and we'll be done. And I don't know if we'll get to do a car three. We'll see. Yeah, I like that better too. Actually, you know what? I think when we're done, remind me and I'll come back and we're going to put some bumblebee little dots on here too. I think just a couple or something on this one anyway. All right. So inside we need to do some stamping. And I have this extra piece of paper, which I didn't leave room for on that one. So if I put this in here. I'll have to put the praying hands over here, which would be all right. Um, I'm looking for my sentiment. Here it is. And we're going to use Bermuda Bay. Thank you, Paige. And I have to stand up to do this one because <sighs> this one, for some reason, I, I don't know. I kept getting it. Um kept getting it slanting up so I need to overcompensate this way to my eyes I hope I did it's still a little up but it's not as bad as I was getting it so I'm gonna leave it people are just gonna have to read sideways with me I guess <laughs> uh, wonky dub Okay, and then I'm just going to use my Mento Tuxedo Black to do the hands. And actually, I'm going to try not to mess my nice clean um, paper up. Did you notice I put floral paper down instead of snowflakes now? No more snow. Right, Paige? <laughs> there we go. And um, I'm gonna, I wasn't gonna color any of it, but to bring out some of the what we had on the front, I just used the um, Dark Mango Melody on the sleeves. You could color in the skin too if you want to, but I decided to just leave it. And just do the touch of yellow on the sleeves. And that way it could be any uh, skin tone that you can imagine. All right. And then on this one, we'll go ahead and glue this strip down too. Maybe. There we go. Let's see, what else is new? Not really much. Last week was Cali week. My son fixed my turn signal. Yay. So I don't feel like uh, I had, well, he was miss, with me the one time and some guy behind me was like tooting his horn at us. Like, why didn't you signal me? And I kept stepping on my brakes, hoping he'd back off a little bit because he was right on my bum. Like, you know, it's going to be your fault, buddy, if you run into the back of me. But I even went like, you know, this in my rear view mirror. And he like beeped at me as he went by when I was turning. I'm like, you know, <laughs> get over it. But I don't like not notifying people. So I actually like this one better on the inside. I think on the outside too. Let's put a little bit of that bling on and then we'll move on. We'll put some of that yellow even though it's bumblebee bling, but we'll put some of that on to bring out that yellow. 
I don't even know what this one's opened even more. And then we might try one more card, but it'll be winging it for sure if you guys are up for it. I don't, you might need to help me. <laughs> you might need to help me. All right, let's see. We'll put one here. Oh, yeah. I think I like that. And one over here. There we go. Should I do that on this one? No. I might I might change that ribbon later to the the yellow ribbon. I like that yellow ribbon better. Okay, thank you for hanging in with me. What do you guys think? Another card or another day? <laughs> um if I do another card, what I was thinking, let me put this away, was, hang on, so that was his love, um, what I was thinking, and this was Spring Joy, was, well, I have two stamp sets, I wanted to use the Oval Occasions Bunny, and I, I have some paper for that already somewhere. <laughs> I just don't know what I do with it. So uh, maybe it's down here. No. Mm. All right, give me a minute. Pause, think, pause, think. Did I stick it in the stamp case maybe? Another says Philomena. Okay, I did stick it in the stamp case. That's kind of weird. All right, let me move these out of the way onto the floor <sighs> which actually I made a little bit wider of a path to walk in when I cleaned that drawer out um, okay so I have the bunnies and I have this strip of paper out of the flowers for every season I'm trying to use up stuff you know so as far as I got was a piece of just jade a piece of whisper white five by five and a quarter by four and this and I thought I'd texture this white part and stamp the little bunny in fact I thought I did I already stamped the little bunnies now I'm sure that that is probably meant for welcome little one because there's a little bunny but I don't want to use that. I want to use more something Eastery. So where's those um, Wish for Everything? So what we could do is put a little oval with them in, maybe even over here, and then have another sentiment down here or something like that. Uh, let's see what else is in here. There is Happy and Easter in here in the stamps which i probably don't i have happy out oh look at that fun happy also um easter's not punched out yet or i could die cut happy easter and put happy up here and easter down here in a coordinating color i don't know if i want it to be in just jade Let's color our bunnies first and see where it takes us. And then the sentiments. We could just put may the beauty of Easter fill your heart with hope or sending Easter wishes to someone very sweet again. Or we could just go back to this one and use. I don't know. <laughs> and I thought about taking this stamp here. And instead of, um, instead of embossing this white, just putting this in the four corners and then having, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try putting this stamp in each of the four corners to add a little more color. Because um, it almost looks like a, it would fit in the corners, right? Let me try it. Let me try it because that's the way I roll. And I think that one is already off the cling thing. The cling thing. I just need a block. 
I'm being a little bit of a blockhead. Ha ha ha. All right. Because then we're going to have to color that too. Let's do that first. I need Memento Tuxedo Black. What do you think? Do you think it's going to work? I think it'll be all right. I don't know. I get weird ideas sometimes. Ooh, I must drop my stamp pad. Let's see. Put that one like that. Oh, you know what? It might not work. Maybe we'll just do two corners. Because I'd have to go like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we'll just do two corners. I kind of have that one going down a little bit. Yeah, we'll just do two corners. We'll try it. I got a little crooked. But it's alright. Or we could even bring in the little basket from the other one somewhere. That would be cute. The little basket down here. With the bunnies up here. But then where are we going to put the sentiment? Alright. Let's color first. I'm <laughs> getting ahead of myself again. Um, all right, these are flowers. What color do you want the flowers to be? And the bunnies. The bunnies, I'll probably make smoky slate and little white puffy tails and just jade for the leaves. We know that. So let's do the leaves first. I also wanted to do the posted for you, the the birds, the birds, the birds in that in that stamp. Yeah, because that stamp is retiring also, but the punch is not. Thank goodness. This is dark just jade, and I'm just going on the lines in these leaves where there are lines. And I'm just going to go over all the leaves now with light just jade because that's the card base. I think we're going to use um, Magenta Madness for the tulip shaped flower. And. Um, maybe, should I use Mango Melody or Daffodil Delight for the other one, for the, this one, the one that looks like a five petal, a five petal flower. I think I'm hearing thunder, either that or somebody has a loud car, well, could be either or near in this neighborhood. <laughs> I lost somebody. I'm putting you to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Okay. Not allowed to go to sleep without me going to sleep. <laughs> Alright, let's do these flowers first. Dark magenta madness. Here, here, and here. Here, here, and here. I might just do those dots in it too. I don't know what those dots are supposed to be, Oops. but it's okay. So... I had to cook today because Christopher sort of cooked yesterday. Well, he picked out the food. It wasn't pizza because we didn't want pizza. Um, but today I have meatballs in the crock pot. And I already ate, so I'm good.
Not the healthiest, but I had rolls to use up, and I shouldn't even have the rolls, but oh well. All right, now nobody answered me on the yellow, did they? Mm -mm. All right, Deb's just going to pick. I'm going to use Daffodil Delight this time. Light and dark. I'm going to use dark in the center. And light around the edges. The petals. Did I tell you my tulips are all eaten all the way down to the ground? The stems are gone. The leaves are chomped. But my daffodils are growing like crazy. <laughs> So funny, the deer or somebody, the rabbits, I don't know. Somebody came out and ate my tulips. Kind of upsetting, actually. I probably should have put some pink in this too, but oh well. Hi, Paula. Thank you, Heather. I don't know how it's going to turn out yet, but <laughs> but we'll get there. All right, bunnies are going to be light, smoky slate, I guess. And their little cotton tail. Where's my white chalk pen? Their little cotton tail. I use the chalk marker and just dab it on. Just dab a little dab. And you could put um, a little real cotton on there if you wanted to after you punch it out. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you made it back. Yay. I am on. I'm on card three. This is the last card for tonight because I'm starting to get a little, a little fady. I'm going to kind of do it like I did the um, the little lamb we did earlier. I'm not going to color them all the way in. But I may take the um, color lifter and just lift a little bit of color off. I don't know. Maybe I should color them all the way in. Maybe I will. You think I should color them all the way in? <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll color them all the way in. Mama and baby or Papa and baby. Probably Mama. I'm going to put a little pink on their little ears, even though they're not turned exactly right. And I'll use light, flirty flamingo for that. Just a little pink. Yeah. Aren't they so cute? I don't know. Do they have pink noses? They're getting little pink noses, even if they don't. There. <laughs> now that is going to get punched out with the um, double over, oval punch. Excuse me a second. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Sip of tea time. Okay. And I happen to have the double oval punch right here. <clears throat> I have a tickle. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah. 
Okay, well, we're going to have to put it in the big one. Because the image doesn't fit in the little one. <coughs> Excuse me. Which actually is good because that way I won't waste white paper. So this is going to go something like this. You can bump that up. I can cut another one out of, you know what, I have a piece of... Um, I don't think it's big enough. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, I have a piece of yellow here. I don't know which yellow. I could cut it in half. Let me do that. Let me cut it in half. <coughs> and um, glue it coming out either end. It has a little, excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry. I got a tickly throat. Hmm. Well, we'll use this side. Right down the middle. So, we'll just have it like, um, like, oh, you know, doesn't that make a cute egg? That would make a cute egg. If you did that and had the white. Uh, oh, my gosh. I just. Sometimes I get weird ideas. <laughs> You know what? It's not really going to work too well. Maybe a little bit. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Now, we have to figure out what sentiment we're going to use. Do I want to use... <sighs> Welcome, little one. <laughs> or do I want to go with the happy and Easter... I don't think I want to do that. If, if I do, it'll be a stamped one. Let me see how that would work. Here's how big the happy is. You like that with the yellow? Okay. There's the happy. Let me find the Easter. This is the A Wish for Everything die set. It's in the current annual catalog, and it's carrying over to the new annual catalog. And here's the Easter, which I don't have the cling sticker on for. But let me put them together on the same block, maybe. So here's happy. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> and here's Easter. Oops, this way. Yeah. And I'm going to test that on a piece of scrap. Because I don't know where I want to put that. I'll glue that down in a minute. Oh, that went crooked when I picked it up. Yes, it sure did. It's hard to tell with these. Because I also get stickers on crooked when I get them on. That's going to be crooked. All right. Let me just get Memento a minute and check. <clears throat> yeah, an egg. Maybe the other part of the oval would work better for the egg because it doesn't have ridges on it. That's too far apart. All right. Let me clean that off so I don't get ink all over my fingers. And one of them came off anyway. Let's see if we can get them smushed together closer and so it's still sort of straight. Oh, that won't work because Easter is upside down. <laughs> Happy upside down Easter. Kind of like I am most of the time. Wacky. No, crooked, crooked, crooked. I don't know if I'm liking this. That's a little too small for what I was thinking anyway. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I changed my mind. I'm, I'm wanting something a little, I don't know, different. Maybe we won't put a sentiment on the outside and we'll put one of those other Easter sentiments on the inside that I said earlier. Let's put these back on here. 
<clears throat> or I could die cut, but I don't, I don't really feel like die cutting. Um, um, so I think we'll just use that same sending Easter wish, little Easter wishes to someone sweet. Because I already have it out and on a block. <laughs> oh, I'm being lazy. And we'll do that on the inside of the card. Maybe we'll just do it like this and fix that up a little bit. And I don't know if I want ribbon on this, but we can put some bling on or something. Maybe I just like it just like that with some bling and pop this up. What do you think? Or I tried to order this. Yes, it's out of stock for now. It is coming back and it will be carrying over also to the new annual catalog and I also had thought maybe we could put a little basket down here but I don't think I want to hmm. or oh oh what about a little butterfly here and here that would be cute that's out of the uh, spring joy I don't know. Let's do the bunnies first and get them done. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I have that here, too. Thank you, Heather. <sighs> yeah, it is. I was going to try and use that tonight, and I never got around to it. So that'll... I don't know when I'll do that. If I can get another card made in the next two days, I'll do it in a video. Happy Easter. Sorry for crinkling. Uh, see, I haven't even used this set yet. I put that up a little higher and just put Happy Easter. If I move this over a little bit and have Happy Easter down here on a, another little oval or something. Let's try it and see how it looks before I commit to anything. Because you know I can't commit. I think I have commitment issues, <laughs> at least as far as cards. Um, I'll stamp that in just jade, just jade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. How about we stamp it in magenta madness and put it back it with just jade like the other one. Nice bright Eastery color. Thank you for that suggestion. So oh, I don't know what I'm gonna punch it out with or that is so pretty. That's a pretty font. They should have kept this set. <laughs> Just saying they should have kept this set. Alright, um, I wonder, well, where's my oval? Will that fit in? Ooh, you know what? I snip a little bit of this off. That will fit in the smaller oval punch. See? And then we just need a ridgy, maybe another yellow ridgy behind it, like to match the other one. Oh, I probably don't know if I have another piece of paper that'll fit the ridgy. <laughs> yes, I do. That same scrap. All right, let's see how that'll work now. Close up my ink. I still may get it. Or the dies. You want to have the wreaths for the card. Yeah, I actually just got it in the last one, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And then I hadn't used it since, since then. So what do you think? If we put that there, I actually could... I think I like this. Ugh. Stay! 
We'll fix that bunnies up on their yellow egg thing. It should have been the other way around though, right? The yolk is in the middle. <laughs> anyway, I'll fix that. Maybe put it over just a little bit off center. Like that. I think that's going to do it. And then we'll just put a few embellishments on. You likey? You did a partridge in a pear tree. You did one with a bunny too, Heather. It was really cute with the wreath. Hi, honeybees. Yeah, I know. I'm a little slow moving tonight. <laughs> so sorry, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. I'll show the other two cards at the very end. All right, let's see if we can fix this up. Like that. And get all our bits put together and then maybe mm -hmm. looks crooked on the back mm. yeah. yeah it's all right it's all right Deb it's okay don't fret. Don't fret. And we'll just put a little on here. And put that this way. Just give it a little color. It doesn't really come together in the middle, right? But it adds a little bit of color onto it. And then let's glue this down. So the stamps that we used were oval occasions for the bunnies and the flowers here and here. And the um, arrange a wreath, thanks to Heather, for the happy Easter. And on the inside, we're going to use one from the Word, A Wish for Everything, a sp sending Easter wishes to someone very sweet. Let's cut the... Uh, Let's um, yeah, cut this. Let's glue this down too, and it's on just jade cardstock. And this is five and a quarter by four, so this is five and a quarter by I don't know, roughly two inches. It was a scrap. <laughs> and then we're going to bump that up and bump that up. Maybe we'll do it just right there. They're so cute. Yeah, we're happy to have you. Wait, what's so versatile? Yeah, the, the wreath is really, it's got hearts, it's got the partridge. It's got pears, it's got eggs for Easter, flowers, leaves, a bow. It's really pretty. I don't know why I hesitated to get it originally. And now I got it and it's like going away. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping it though. That's going to be a keeper for me. And some of these other ones are too. And somebody asked me when I, if I'm doing a D stash, I will not be doing a stamp and accessory D stash for probably six months to a year. And that will probably be the older stuff, just so you know. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. If I like, last time I did like big batches of stuff, some people didn't like that apparently. I have a couple haters though, so I don't know if it was just my haters or if it was people were upset because I didn't do individual stamp sets. The problem with doing individual stamp sets is two things. It takes a long time to do that and it's a lot of work for me. Yes, it's good you got the oval dies because they're a staple. I don't know what's going on with that. All right. Should I put this up here? No, I think just right here. 
right here. And then just some little, some little kind of gems. Should I use those same gems that are retiring like we've been using since it's the end colors? Um, and should I use pink or yellow or green? Maybe just stick with the green hmm. or yellow, even though it's a, it's a different yellow, though. Oh, my goodness. Decisions. I'm having trouble with decisions tonight. I'm not usually that bad. Pink. Okay. Pink it is. Except then it will. Okay. I won't put one on there. <laughs> Pink it is. Let's see. I want to do noop, noop, noop. one there. You even have a trouble dis with decisions on placement. Wow. And then I think maybe one here. And one right down here. Ta-da! I could have put one in here. But uh, now we have to stamp the inside. Just that little quick sentiment. Do I have a piece of white? I need to cut a piece of white. <laughs> Hang on. I'll do it on my lap because I'm out of room. Okay, so that needs to be four. Five, five and a quarter. I ran out of my pre-cut pieces of card for the white anyway. All right. And we'll stamp in Magenta Madness to match the front. Pink, pink, pink. Let's get the gems out of the way. It's not the best card, but it's cute. Right? It's cute. It's a cutie patootie. Oh, now this is going to be tough getting this straight. Hang on. I'm finding cat hair everywhere here. Heather, stop putting cat fur down here on my desk. <laughs> Pretty good. Not bad for a first try. Not perfect, but it never usually is with me. Thank you, Philomena. Thank you, Heather. I just say that about to Heather. I don't think she even has a cat, but she's been crocheting cat tail coasters, cat foot coasters, which are so cute. If you didn't see those on Facebook, you need to check them out. And I would buy that batch you showed today, except you're so far away. <laughs> the shipping would probably cost me a fortune. <laughs> yes, Heather. <laughs> we might not show that. It got uh, hidden. They didn't like that word. <laughs> I'll just keep that one hidden. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I know. You know, did they did they um officially publish the pre-order list? I I know where it is, but I kept waiting for them to post it in the you know, our reports area. And I never did see it go up there before I came on here. All right, let me show you both the, all the other cards. Yes, we have pre order starting tomorrow. It can be any time in April, really, all the way up through May 3rd. But of course, some of us just get like overly anxious. I'm not getting everything. I can't get everything. But I'm getting quite a bit. Luckily, two of the suites that are on the pre-order are ones I wanted. And one of them, I wanted pieces of it. So I am going to get those. Some of the bundles I I had, um, which we can't tell what they are. But um, some of the bundles that are in there, I had originally put on second or third 
order down the road sometime. But I pushed them all to get them now. And I just pushed ones that I was going to get first to later. Which is kind of upsetting. But I'll get them in May. Some of them, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how much money I have. <laughs> um okay so here are our cards for tonight we have our cute little lamb with the woolly fleece or whatever it is and our cross um, but this is the one we did with the yellow daffodil ribbon and our cute little bunnies with the oval occasion set and the ranger wreath set and the this is oval occasions as well and the a wish for everything I should put, you know what? I'm not done with this yet. I think I think I need um I need flowers or something in here too. And you know what? I forgot I was gonna maybe put a butterfly on. Uh, I'm gonna leave the butterfly off. Mm, I'm gonna leave it off. If I find another strip of that same paper, I'll put that in here, maybe. I don't know. But that one we only have one because that was kind of a winging it. If you are interested in any of the retiring items or current items, <laughs> um, get them before they retire so they don't run out. And here's the host code for me for from now, today, through April 30th. I did change it this morning. Uh-oh, why did that go blurry? Ah, isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. You know what else you could do with this? You could get out the um, crystal shimmering effects stuff. And just put it on the yellow parts. It just came to my mind. I'd make it like puffier in certain areas. That would be that would be gorgeous. Shimmery crystal effects. And I can't remember if that's carrying over. I think so. I'm not positive. Thank you, Paula. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, Philomena. Thank you. Put the butterfly inside. That's a thought. Maybe right at the sentiment, right? Yeah, let's do that. Right at the sentiment. See, we're never done till we're really done. <laughs> and now we'll color that yellow and pink. Or, yes, yellow and pink. Yellow and magenta. And we used Daffodil Delight on the outside, didn't we? So we used Dark Daffodil Delight and Light Magenta, I think. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the dots and the body pink. And color the butterfly yellow. Oops. He's just a little guy. And then that is out of the Springtime Joy, I think it's called. I buried it. Just so you all know. And I didn't get to use the posted for you, so that'll have to be another time. Which is retiring. Boo-hoo. But the punch is not, so that's a good thing. That punch is not. Why on earth the circle punches are retiring? I don't know. Thank you, Heather. That was a good suggestion. I like that. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> so what I did is an Excel spreadsheet. And I list pretty much everything in the catalog that appeals to me. And then... I put the price. I have two columns for price because, you know, you have the sweet price or the bundle price, but then you have to list what's in it in case you don't want everything. Um, and then I have priority one column, priority two column, and priority three column. But this morning, I added in front of those priority columns, I added available for pre-order because not everything is. So, and then I had to rearrange my priorities, one, two, and three, 
And then once I get priority one, then I got to figure out how to pay for it. <laughs> so then I have columns off to the right that are like, okay, here's my grand total, you know, less this, less stamp and reward. Some of it goes in stamp and rewards. Yeah. The list, Paul, you're a demonstrator, Paul, I'm gathering. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, as a demonstrator, we have, there is a pre-order list. It's under, um, oh gosh, it's under, help me honeybees. <laughs> I think it's under happening now. Yeah, I have to use them too, Heather. Um, happening now catalogs. Uh, and then I think the 21 to 22, and then if you go down a little bit, somewhere down there in the catalogs thing is the pre-order. If you scroll down to the bottom under toolkit or something or other, it, there's a pre-order form. Thank you. New annual catalog page. Oh, Okay. Yeah, it's out there. They didn't actually put an announcement about it in the um, report thing today. So I don't know. Maybe they'll probably put it out there during the night. You're welcome. Sorry to those who aren't demos. <laughs> you don't really need to know all that. Anyway, those are our three cards. I'm glad you seem to enjoy them. They were fun to make. I have to clean up a mess now. And I'm going to probably warm up my tea and drink it and go to sleep <laughs> and uh, be able to try and get up again at three in the morning and do my pre-order <laughs> yeah me too it's not yeah 9 30 is bad enough for me so by about 10 i'll be doing the same thing heather good night thank you all for joining me thank you Paige. you too yeah you too paula I'm going to type in here. Have a great week. Hugs, love, and peace. Yeah, I'll try to. I, I don't have any trouble falling asleep. I have trouble staying asleep. <laughs> so you all get some good rest too and stay safe out there still and uh i think i'm back tomorrow morning with two different collabs lovely ladies which guess what i'll probably be up at three in the morning because i don't have my card done uh and house mails is tomorrow so they're not stamping up necessarily they could be um Let's see. And then I don't think I'll be on uh, the rest of tomorrow or Friday because Friday's my shot day. Eesh. And uh, I just need time to make stuff and do stuff here, including taxes. But that'll be early next week again. I keep putting that off and I got to get it done. All right, everybody. I'm rambling. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Bye for now.